science doesn't follow the trajectory of time. And that's what leads to many people disbelieving in the creation, because it is a fact that the universe is billions of years old. So why do people of religion insist on it being created in a matter of days? But the answer is one of simple translation. Allah uses the word yawm in Arabic, which has been translated as day, but yawm doesn't translate that simply. In fact, yawm actually means a long expanse of time. So other areas of the Quran where yawm has been used, it indicates lengths of time that extend to 50,000 years. So the idea that the universe was created in six yawms translates better as six extended periods of varied time, or what the scientific community calls eons. Now, I bet you can't guess how many eons there have been. Would you like to have a guess? Six? Yes, absolutely right. There's been six eons. And for proof, I'll name them. We've got the Hadean, the Archaean, the Proterozoic, the Paleozoic, the Mesozoic, and the Cenozoic. So that's six eons, or the six days. We are currently in our seventh eon, and Allah is overseeing his creation. SubhanAllah. So next time you meet an evolutionist, say, great, you're a Muslim then, because that's what we believe too. It's all there in the Quran. Now, it's funny how all of this came from a lazy day in front of the telly, watching Blue Planet 2. And it brings me back to my initial question. Did all life start in the water, as Sir David Attenborough claimed? We've heard about the thermal vents and the hydrocarbons, but what does Allah say? So in chapter 21, verse 30, Allah says, We made from water every living thing. And in chapter 24, verse 45, Allah says, Allah created every animal from water. Of them are some that creep on their bellies, some that walk on two legs, and some that walk on four. Allah creates what he wills, for truly Allah has power over all things. So these verses categorically confirm the scientific theory that life began in Earth's oceans. And if you ever want a reminder, just look at your wives, look at your daughters, and look at your own babies. Now, I was do- when I was doing all of this research and writing things down, I was looking at my toddler running around the living room, and I remember what she felt like in my belly. She was floating around in her own little sack of water, and her own little ocean that Allah had put in my womb. And I remember the flood that happened when she announced her arrival. And I remember the expansion and the stretching that brought her into existence. We still come from water. We still expand and create life by Allah's will. SubhanAllah, what a truly astounding and amazing creator we have.